All right, well, I don't remember what's in there. I think there's some aluminum in there. <laughs> I don't remember. I got a whole bunch of them going over there, so I don't know what's in it. So we're going to turn a... Uh, maybe I'll turn a goblet out of that. Seems like a waste, but no matter what I do, it's kind of a waste with the waste. There's a hair in it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know here. Can I get it out of there? I'm going to cut it out here in a second. <laughs> here, I'm just going to do it this way. There we go. Oh, yeah. There's all kinds of stuff in there. I don't know what you guys can see. I'm not looking over here. See what you can see. Let me bring it up here in. Alright, look, there's some clear. Uh, I'm going to assume these are from the planet mold. Uh, I see some aluminum. Uh, what do they call that? Um, whatever the metal shavings are. Swash? Something like that? Uh, so I don't know what's in it. A couple different colors. Uh, some green something or another is right there. Yeah, maybe I'll turn a maybe I'll turn a goblet with it. Sounds like fun, don't it? Huh? Let's get it over on a lathe. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, that's in there and fairly true. <laughs> There's a little bit of wobble in it, and I'm pretty impressed with me right now. Uh, just a little bit of. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do a goblet because I can't do it the other way and part it off and put my logo in it. <laughs> So I'm going to kind of do it backwards. I'm going to do the bottom so that I can get my logo coin in it. And we'll get that cleaned up so that I have room for resin. We'll get it kind of done around to the side and leave it. Flip it over, change the jaws, uh, put it back in the chuck, and then go the normal way of doing a goblet. I don't know. I'm going to try to make a, a stemmed goblet. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I'm not quite sure how it's going to go. But we'll try it. Like I said, I'm not quite where to, sure where to start. <laughs> so, I am going to uh, try this. I've done this once already and it was out a little far. I don't need a whole lot. Uh, I need a little better than two inch to get the jaws in. And after that, that's all we got to worry about. I don't have to go very deep. Everything looks pretty flush this way. I mean, it's moving this way, but it's pretty flush that way. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs>
All right, so I don't necessarily need to sand this because I'm going to use a resin finish. Oh, somebody tried to cut my finger off earlier with a pruning shears, uh, hoof shears, <laughs> and uh, just stuck it in that over there. But um, I do have ridges that I want to sand out. Uh, that's the only reason I'm going to sand it. Uh, I'm going to do resin finish so it would cover everything in here. But I have the ridges and I don't like them, so I'm going to sand those out. Okay. And I'm not going to sand very far. We're going to sand, I don't know, 220-ish, maybe 320. I don't have to go that far. We're going to start at 80 <laughs> and work our way up. I see all the ridges I was talking about. I just want to smooth those out. Okay, so let me uh, get you guys focused here. Uh, Lock it on there. Oh, come on. Boink. There we go. All right. So I got a lot of a lot of a lot of holes in it. I'm hoping they fill with resin when I do the resin coat. Yeah. <laughs> so so anyways, uh, I, I, it's just kind of a wide. It's not very deep. Just wide. Uh, I'm gonna put a. I was gonna put a tennis ball in there, and I still might, and just put my just to support it a little bit. Uh, I, I know I've, I've really made a mess out of things doing that before, so we'll see where I'm at once I get it, get this shaped, and we'll go from there.
All right, well, I might have been leaning on that a little hard. <laughs> so I think what I'm doing is catching the aluminum in there. Uh, I'm glad it happened there, so I'm going to have to back off a little bit. So I'm going to try to get my profile, and I'm probably going to switch to carbide here in a minute. Um, I can, this is getting out there, and I really really can't get a, get a hold of it any, so... Uh, it's, this is just a bit too aggressive for what I'm doing, I guess. Uh-huh. So, uh, maybe try to stand this up some. Uh, except for right here. It's a little thick, right? Right there on that lump right there. So, uh, try to tone that down some. It's a little better. <laughs> it's a little thick right here. Uh, so let's see what I can do there. It's kind of uh, interesting looking. Uh, I'm hoping I can keep that together. <laughs> I don't ever do very well in goblets. So. Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> I got a big chunk right there I gotta fix. Uh -huh. A bit, a bit. <laughs> you know how I am, I over thin things. This is not as easy as doing a wood one. Like this stuff comes away really fast on wood. It doesn't on resin and I got a vibration. So I think I'm gonna put the tennis ball in now to try to support this some <laughs> and sharpen up my tubes here. Cool looking that is. <clears throat> All right, so this is a getting a wee bit difficult here. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm probably gonna leave this thicker than I normally would. 
just because I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think guys? I got a couple holes to fill. Uh, actually I got rid of it, so I don't have a couple holes to fill. I thought I did. I had maybe a couple little ones like here. So, <clears throat> in there. Those are chip outs, but I think I can fill them. There's another one there that's a chip out. Oh, I don't want to try and turn them out. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can fix them with some uh, UV resin. So I'm going to do a little bit of sanding, and then, uh, oh, i got some holes to fill up here, too. <laughs> All right, so, I oh, know you can't see them. So i got some voids here and here that I need to get filled, and a couple right there. No big deal. I'll hit those off camera. I'm not sure that it's just aluminum. Get her sanded up, and actually, I'll show you some of the sanding again. You know how it is. So I'll show you some sanding, get that done up. And we'll put some resin on it and leave it set. Okay, so uh, two to one fast set resin. In a not wax coated cup. Hopefully, I don't get anything in it. I'm gonna try it. 50 RPMs, and you know how it goes. You just paint this on. So. Cover it up and leave it for a few hours. Robin's buys the DIYs. Yeah, I know I did it a couple weeks ago, but we did a sticker swap, and you know what? I put your sticker on the board, give you a shout out. So, in the corner with Robin's channel, go check her out. I'll put her in the description below also. Uh, yeah, hang on, I gotta make this a little smaller. <laughs> That's acceptable, Robin. <laughs> 
All right, no, don't worry. I just pick on Robin all the time. So, uh, so anyways, here's my little fun cup project. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, uh, this, for whatever reason, there's some issues here. <laughs> I don't know why. It's sticky feeling, and I'm not sure why it's sticky feeling either. It wasn't earlier. So, I am going to uh, try to address that because, like, I mean, you see, I got my fingerprints in it right there. So, uh, I know I've had a few people ask if it was for sale. Uh, not yet. I gotta fix it. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. Why? Why does it do it to me? <laughs> you know? Uh, it shouldn't be this way. That set overnight and it should have been cured and all that good stuff. So, I'm not sure why, but. There it is. It's just fun cup. There's some aluminum swarsh, swarsh heart. Well, I'm, I don't know how to pronounce whatever the, the cuttings from, from a mill, probably. Uh, and, and yeah, there was a planet or something. That, that round thing was a planet. So, so yeah, and I got a little bit of something in the bottom, but I'm, I'm just making it it's sticky. I don't know why it's sticky. <laughs> I'm about to give up on doing all that, so I tried. So yeah, I'll put some pictures up at the end. Uh, give her a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, we'll catch you all next week. Bye-bye.